Tune in, tune in, tune in. It's your boy B Love Yeet, man, coming in with a little, little video. <clears throat> uh, got a new butter beer, Buddha beer, butter beer, Buddha beer, whatever the fuck. Got some more carts, uh, got some more carts, got some more carts. Um, this right here is just gonna be like a little intro video showing y'all the carts and all of that. Um, I'm not sure if this will be the video with me like trying them and like tasting them and all that shit, but that's soon to come. But this right here is just me showing off my shit. <laughs> be just show it off, goddamn. It's just be show it off. Be love you, man. Shout out to y'all. You know, I appreciate everybody tuning in, locking in, checking in. You know, so it's your boy B Love You. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, first up, I want to show y'all the Forbidden Fruit. Got the Forbidden Fruit. What a beer. Not sure what it tastes like, what it smoked like, none of that. Um, it's a mouth watering cross between cherry pie and tangy. You know. That's what it says, cross, cross mix. There it go, focused. It's forbidden fruit right here, it's an indica, as you can see. It says 80, 85 percent, forbidden fruit. And then next up, I got a sativa. And this right here is called Grape Limeade. Grape Limeade. Check out the Grape Limeade. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't tried any of these. I haven't opened any of these or none of that. Um, you know, just the facts on the back right there. And about this one, Grape Limeade. It's, um... It's known for its bright and vibrant, high and tasty grape lime flavor. Yeah. And this is a sativa. So this is an upper. Sativa's uppers. You know what I'm saying? Indicas. You know what I'm saying? In the couch. You in the couch chilling. Deep couch chilling. Sativa's. Goddamn, get the get the get the heart rate pumping. Get you goddamn thinking some shit. Get you laughing and all that good shit. So. That brings me down to my next one. And the next one is a cross mix of indica and sativa. Sativa. And that's called a hybrid. It's a hybrid. This is mimosa. Mimosa is like an orange wine or something like that. Um, yeah. It says... Uh, <coughs> It's like a mid-level buzz. Basically, that it says that because it's a mixture, it's a mix of an indica and sativa. You know, so when you when you get shit like that, it um it gives you like a, a like a chill, like a like an uppity chill type high. You know what I'm saying? And this right here is a cross mix of um clementine and purple punch, clementine and purple punch. Yeah. Last but not least, last but not least, I have blueberry rice. Blueberry rice is a banger. I haven't tried it yet, but from the name and from the looks of the packaging, got the Tasmanian Devil on there. This is some good gas, you know? And um, this right here is a, a cross strand of 
It's a cross mix of Girl Scout cookies and Blue Dream. And, um, yeah. Girl Scout cookies and Blue Dream. It's going to get you sneezing and coughing from the cookies. This right here is Indica. So you're going to be in the couch. You're going to be asleep. You're going to be chilling. You're going to be buzzed out. Your motherfucking mind, man. But, yeah. It's your boy B-Love, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me show y'all all of them. You know what I'm saying? These shits was ready to go. They was ready to go. And, uh, I don't know, man. One of them got missing, so. You know, now I gotta go. Grabbing. Gotta grab them. I had five bangers for y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know what the fuck happened to it. I woke up and it was gone. I went to sleep, woke up, and shit was gone. I don't know, man. I don't know, that shit was gone like a bitch, though. But it's your boy B Love Geek, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I think I got my pen in here. Let me see. Yeah. Got my pen in here, my Nero box. You know what I'm saying? I uh, got a little, got a little baby powders on it. Don't, 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 don't try me with that bullshit. This is baby powder. You know what I'm saying? This is baby powder for you bitch asses. Yeah, man. This is baby powder. Oh, uh, but yeah, this is my Nero box. It has three temperatures. That's three temperatures. Mm. That's the good one. Green. Then you go down to red. Oh, that's preheat. Red is that blinking red is preheat. And three clicks up to the blue. Blue is the highest burning voltage. Um, so you want to keep it like... You definitely want to keep it between between the two so between the red and the blue you got green so that's what i would prefer smoking that um it has like it, it's basically like a good temperature a good medium temperature to get the oils get the vapes burning and um get them burning you know so yeah but if the temperature is too low it might not burn the oil properly you might not get no smoke and also if your battery is not fully charged if your battery is not fully charged, you will not get the proper smoke that you are planning to or that you've seen in other people's videos. You're not going to get that same smoke if your battery, if your pen not charged. So make sure your fucking pen is charged. Uh, make sure it's on the right temperature if you have temperatures. Or or if you got like a little, like a straight pen or or like my, uh, like my Mystica, if you only got a smoke button. You ain't got to worry about no temperatures. You just got to make sure your battery's charged. You know what I'm saying? So once the battery start dying, it ain't even got to be all the way dead. The shit not going to hit. You ain't going to get no smoke. None of that shit. So like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy B-Love Yeet, man. I got these new edibles, too. They call uh, Mentos. <laughs> Mentos. These new edibles right here. They got 0.00000% THC and CBD. <laughs> These shits right here be hitting. You know what I'm saying? Just pop one out. Look at it. <laughs> and you eat it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna get high off this one. You ain't gotta worry about it. 0. 0.00000% TAC and CBD. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. It's your boy B Love V. It's been real. It's been 10 minutes. And I appreciate y'all tuning in, locking in, checking in with me, B Love Yeek, man. 
Shout out to Pumpkinhead Vape Reviews. I would have a shirt on right now, but I'm not at home, dog. <laughs> I'm not at home, man. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So just to stay in the video, I'm going to give y'all a smell test. I'm going to do a smell test real quick. Smell test for bidding fruits. It smell fruity. It smell fruity like... It smell good. I can't really pinpoint what it smell like. It smell like a fruit roll up. Now when you open a pack of fruit roll ups, like when you just open a open up one fruit roll up, that's how that shit smell. And grape lime smell test. I'm pretty sure this shit gonna smell like super grapes. You know, I know that grape topanga and grape topanga, purple punch, um, grape pie. All them shits are pretty fucking strong, so. Yep, I was right. It smelled like grape lime. So, you know what I'm saying? This one will probably be the fucking, this will probably be the tasty, the t most tasty one. Get you the most taste flavors and all that shit. It smell like lime and grape lime. And got mimosa. I'm here to do a smell test on this mimosa. Mm. 